the government of uganda through the national information technology authority of uganda nita uganda is implementing the national data transmission backbone infrastructure nbi and the e-government infrastructure project egi the national fiber backbone is the national backbone infrastructure as you know which uh, we used the loan from china of 106 million dollars the major objective is to connect all major towns and government agencies within the country onto a high-speed optical fire cable based network the project was implemented in three phases Phase one and phase two was done. We are now actually, we commercialized it. We're generating revenue from it and we're using it for government offices. Under phase one, we connected uh, around 27 ministries. To date, 32 are connected and they are receiving internet. There are other services running on the NBI, like the integrated financial management system, the computerized uh, education management and accounting system, the payroll, the government payroll, um, we have uh, police systems are also running on the NBI. Subsequently, the government of Uganda through NITA Uganda in July 2012 contracted Soliton Telmec Kenya Limited to manage the backbone on behalf of government. Um, we've connected a number of uh, MBAs, those are ministries, departments and agencies, to encourage use so that the investment, the big investment that government put in this network is utilized and we are also able to um, develop a government network over which we'll be able to churn out a number of e-government services and improve um, our general environment in Uganda. In the coming uh yeah, next financial year, uh, early June, uh, early July, we expect to add another 60 government agencies onto the NBI. We expect that in the following uh, financial, still in that financial year, we will add another 153 government agencies onto the NBI. But that is still not enough. That covers just Kampala and uh, Entebbe. Uh, we plan to go up country. Up country, we so far have 24, 24 districts that are connected to the NBI, and we plan to grow this. The cost of bandwidth in Uganda is still very high. We think it's cheap because we came from a very high level, but the real cost is still very high. If you go to Europe, one megabit per second will be costing you less than $2. You cannot compete if you are charging $300 for that. Now the reason for this is simple volume. The volume of utilization is still very low in the government. We have been pushing government to get connected, but most of the institutions are not yet connected. In the public, people are not utilizing the internet yet, apart from doing a few simple applications and email access. Now as awareness goes up, as benefits are understood, you are going to find that volume is going to go up. Now if we went from the current consumption by a factor of about 10 times, just illustrate, you can then actually bring down the cost by a factor of at least six times. Now this means that if instead of say consuming about 25 gigabits per second as a country, we went 100 gigabits per second, then we can bring the cost down to less than $100 per megabit per second per month. We are going to do the third phase. The third phase was signed in March, uh, which will connect to Tanzania and uh, through Mutukula and Rwanda through Katuna. So the third phase is going to be phenomenal because it has to further help us reduce the cost of bandwidth to about $115 per month. So all these are good things that are happening in the sector. We are planning to grow this network. We plan to have a robust network for the country and more so to create a government network. The 40 public offices receiving internet bandwidth 
have led to a reduction in government expenditure to a tune of over 5 billion per annum. In the coming year, with an additional 60 offices that will be connected, it will further reduce public expenditure on connectivity by over 9 billion Uganda shillings. Uh, under this project there was also a data center that was built and uh, in the, currently in the data center we have different government agencies that are hosting their data in the data center and um, we already have, we have plans to actually grow it and consolidate all government infrastructure in this national data center. The installation of the NBI has provided government with seamless and secure communication amongst government institutions. It is now possible to efficiently share information with 40 government entities and departments. NITA Uganda is collaborating with the Research and Education Network Uganda, RENU, to provide connectivity over the NBI to universities, research institutions and institutions of higher learning. The NBI has provided high-speed connectivity throughout the country to all major towns and district headquarters to enable the provision of e-government services such as e-health, online education, e-tax, integrated financial management systems to all these districts and towns. The NBI shall be utilized to extend connectivity to schools, institutions of higher learning and hospitals to enable these institutions access higher speed internet bandwidth at reduced costs and enable them harness the benefits of connectivity to global communications infrastructure such as access to online health and education services promote innovation in the science fields, among others. With the deployment on the usage of NBI, we have, we have seen unprecedented reduction in the bandwidth cost from more than 2,000 US dollars in the last five years to around 300 US dollars per megabits per second today. And we hope if we get the necessary support, we should be able to push, to push this to 80 US dollars. The NBI will offer high-speed internet bandwidth to the business process outsourcing centers that will be implemented by NITA Uganda across the country to provide jobs to the unemployed youth and generate revenue for government. The development is there, both in telephones and in the backbones both on land and at sea.